imagine a nation not only self-sufficient in energy, but also an exporter of clean power to its neighbors. Afghanistan, with a potential to generate over 23,000 megawatts of electricity from hydro, solar, and wind resources, stands on the precipice of realizing this grand vision. At the very heart of this ambition, symbolizing both immense potential and significant challenges, stands the Naglu Dam. This colossal and vital structure is far more than just a concrete gravity dam. It's a testament to Afghanistan's energy potential and a poignant reminder of the hurdles this nation faces on its journey toward energy self-sufficiency. Situated approximately 70 kilometers east of Kabul, the capital, in the Sarobi district of Kabul province, Naglu Dam is strategically located at the confluence of the Kabul and Logar rivers, where the waters of Gorband, Salang, Shatal, and Panshir all converge. Its crucial role is to supply electricity to Kabul and its surrounding regions. Built by the former Soviet Union between 1960 and 1968, its primary purpose was hydropower generation. It was originally designed with four 25-megawatt turbines, giving it a total installed capacity of 100 megawatts. Even today, Naglu stands as the largest power plant in Afghanistan, currently providing electricity to an impressive 100,000 households in the Kabul area. With a stated height of 11 meters, a length of 280 meters, and a reservoir capacity of 550 million cubic meters, it is an indispensable piece of Afghanistan's critical infrastructure managed by the Ministry of Energy and Water and operated by Da Afghanistan Breshna Shirkat. However, the journey of Naglu Dam has been fraught with challenges. Following the collapse of the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan in the 1990s, the dam suffered severe deterioration, leading to a drastic reduction in its power output. By 2011, a critical juncture, only two of its generators remained operational. Yet, through concerted efforts, bolstered by international financial support and unwavering domestic commitment, a significant rebuilding process was initiated. In August 2006, the Afghan Ministry of Energy and Water took a decisive step, signing a $32.5 million contract with the Russian company Technoprom Export for the rehabilitation of the two non-operational generators and the replacement of transformers. With crucial funding from the World Bank, the first of these rehabilitated generators became operational in September 2011. This was followed by the second, which came online by April 2018. Further reinforcing this commitment to restoration, the World Bank provided an additional $83 million in January 2016, specifically for the dam's complete reconstruction. Thanks to the acquisition of equipment from Russia, the third turbine was also successfully brought back online. The culmination of these tireless efforts was achieved by April 2019, when all four generators were fully functional, restoring the dam's full 100 megawatt capacity. This remarkable achievement not only successfully met Kabul's electricity demands, but also extended power supply to 40 villages in Kapisa and 17 villages in the Sarobi district of Kabul province. Despite these impressive restoration efforts and the dam's vital role, Naglu Dam now confronts a profound and insidious challenge, the crisis of sediment accumulation. Recent assessments by an international hydropower expert have unveiled an alarming truth. 
approximately 40% of Naglu Dam's reservoir volume is now filled with sediments and various forms of waste. This critical issue stems directly from the fact that the dam's sediment discharge system has remained inactive for an astounding 30 years. The problem is severely compounded by thousands of cubic meters of waste and sediment continuously flowing into the reservoir from the Kabul River, particularly during the heavy rainy seasons. The consequences of this accumulation are dire. It not only drastically diminishes the dam's essential water storage capacity, but, more critically, it poses a serious risk of irreparable damage to the turbine blades, which could ultimately lead to the complete shutdown of this vital power plant. To avert this impending catastrophe, immediate and decisive actions are imperative. These critical measures include the reconstruction and activation of the sediment discharge system. Alongside this, there must be an emergency cleaning of sediments from the reservoir bed, followed by regular sediment discharge, especially during the rainy season. Given their close proximity, it is also crucial to implement simultaneous sediment discharge in both Naglu and Sarobi dams. Furthermore, a permanent solution to prevent waste from entering the Kabul River, and consequently the Naglu Dam Reservoir, must be urgently implemented. The sources provide a stark warning. Without the adoption of these critical measures within the next five years, the turbine blades will be irrevocably damaged, transforming Naglu Dam from a crucial power plant into a mere run-of-the-river dam effectively losing its storage and power generation capabilities. The Afghan government is acutely aware of the urgent need to bolster its domestic energy production. Currently, Afghanistan imports about 90% of its electricity, incurring an annual cost of $220 million to exporting countries. The nation's vast untapped potential, exceeding 23,000 megawatts from wind, solar, and hydro resources, presents a powerful incentive for significant investment in domestic projects. Complementing the vital efforts at Naglu, the new Sarobi station, initiated in 2007 by the Turkish company Aiki and completed with $3.5 million from the World Bank, represents another crucial step towards strengthening the country's energy infrastructure, promising electricity to seven more villages in the Sarobi district. Economic experts maintain an optimistic outlook on the potential of hydropower projects, advocating that the government must significantly invest in domestic production alongside developing regional networks and increasing electricity imports. With Afghanistan's current electricity demand standing at 2,500 megawatts, the construction of just two to three additional large dams could not only ensure self-sufficiency, but also open viable avenues for electricity export to neighboring nations. The Naglu Dam stands as a potent testament to Afghanistan's resilience and its ambitious vision for a self-sufficient and industrialized future. But addressing the hidden crisis of sedimentation is not merely a technical challenge. It is a critical, existential step towards securing the nation's energy independence and unlocking its vast potential for prosperity. The time for decisive action is now to ensure that Naglu continues to illuminate homes and power the dreams of a thriving, self-reliant Afghanistan. <laughs>